I'm Anil Kumar. We are exploring new functions from old functions. The example here is, if f of x equals to square root of x and g of x equals to square root of 9 minus x square, find f plus g, f minus g, f times g and f divided by g. State their domains. So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now, whenever you do such combination of two functions, one thing is very important, that it could only be performed on common domain, right? So that is most important. You have to look for common domain to perform these operations, right? So let's look into the domain of f of x. f of x is equal to square root of x. So the domain of this function is from zero to infinity, right? How about g of x? g of x is equal to square root of uh, 9 minus x square, right? So, so here we can find the domain. Uh, now let's do some work to get this domain. <coughs> so let's find this domain here itself. So 9 minus x square should be actually greater than or equal to 0. So or 9 is greater than or equal to x square which will be less than or equals to absolute value of, let me write down like this, square root of 9. <clears throat> when your square root is, then absolute value of x should be uh, between square root of 9, which is, <clears throat> which is 3, right? So that means x is between plus, so x is less than, so x is between uh, minus 3 and plus 3, right? So that is how you could get domain of g of x. So let me write down domain of g of x as as uh, equal to between minus 3 to plus 3, right? So that is how you could get domain of g of x. It is a semicircle with radius of 3 units, correct? Right? So that's how it is. Okay, so once we know the domain of these two functions, we know that these combinations, whether it's this with operation of plus, minus, multiplication or division can only be performed in, in the domain which is common to these, right? So what is the common domain? So the common domain for these is the intersection of the two, right? So intersection of these two domains. So, so the common domain here is between zero to infinity intersection from minus three to three, right? So, which is clearly from 0 to 3, right? So, which is equal to uh, from 0 to 3. So, that becomes the domain for most of these operations. So, that is very important to understand. Once we are clear about it, now let's answer each and every question. So, first one here is uh, f plus g, right? So f plus g. So, f plus g is combination of these two with addition operation. So, we have square root of x plus square root of 9 minus x squared. And this is valid between this particular domain, which is from 0 to 3, right? So that becomes the domain. For f of minus g, f and minus g, it be square root of x minus square root of 9 minus x squared. And the domain again for this operation will be from 0 to 3, correct? The next one here is the product of f and g. So f and g product will be square root x times square root of 9 minus x squared. Now in this also the domain will be from uh, 0 to 3. However, the last one is the quotient f divided by g. So f divided by g will be uh, square root of x divided by square root of 9 minus x square. Now as soon as we have something in the denominator, it cannot be 0, since you cannot divide by 0. Now this function is 0 for plus and minus 3, so therefore you cannot include plus 3 in this domain, correct? So here the domain will be x is greater than or equal to 0, but less than 3, correct? So that is how you could actually uh, find domain of these functions and write down an expression which is a new function by combination of 
two given functions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.